In this video you can see how to make PLC symbols and um, PLC symbols come in pairs and uh, we have a PLC reference symbol and we have a PLC symbol. How to work with the symbols you can see that in uh, one of the other videos here in our YouTube channel uh, but uh, basically we have the PLC reference symbol which keeps track of all the addresses and where you can see all the descriptions and addresses and references to all the PLC symbols. The PLC symbols on the other hand are the symbols to which you connect your external equipment and uh, the idea is that uh, they come in pairs and uh, that you can place them independently of each other throughout the project. But how to make the symbols can be a little bit challenging and that's what you can see in this video. When I make the symbol I would go again into the symbol menu and uh, I will uh, start by clicking select a new one and then I would use the symbol generator. My PLC symbols I have decided that they are 30 by 30 millimeters and at the bottom they have three connection points and uh, that's where I start. So I go in here and zoom in and, and see this basic symbol. In our, our normal or our uh, existing PLC symbols, they've got a, uh, a small line here uh, simply to divide between sort of basic um, um, information about the PLC and, and descriptions about what's happening on the address. And I'm, I'm going to do that exactly the same here. But first, we need to see what is hiding under those PLC uh, uh, under those connection points because this is where the secret about PLCs uh, is. I have decided that this uh, connection point here is my PLC. That means that I'm making an output symbol and it's got a status of PLC. When it's a PLC, I want it to have a reference, a reference back to the PLC reference symbol and I want it to have an address. I would give it a starting address which could be anything but I've selected to have this dot zero zero. This is the settings for my PLC connection point and that's it. Reference output PLC and, and this address here. Uh, the other two connection points here they must have the same address no status, no reference, but uh, uh, and I don't want to see anything here, but this function here is important because uh, when it has this function here, the same function, then uh, the uh, data on those uh, um, connection points will be updated automatically from the reference symbol. So that's the reason why it's got the same function. Um, because yeah, that's how it works. Then, in order to uh, make this uh, symbol uh, fit a little bit better, then uh, ah, I want to, to, to select all my text. It's pretty difficult for me to, to, to take this one today. Uh, and then I can drag my text to a position that I like and I want to have my, um, my reference uh, text and my address up here and I want it to uh, have my text properties as from this corner here maybe I need to, to move it a little bit, I'll, I'll do that and uh, simply say that this is my text uh, and uh, this is also a text and I want them to uh, be aligned those two and I'll do it that way I want uh, all the text to look like this one, so I would copy and transfer the text. Maybe it should be, um, be, be moved a little bit more apart. And then finally I want to have the description for this, um, this connection point. And um, I can go down here and select the description. Uh, it's somewhere here, it's here. And then I can drag that one to the right position as well. And I also want that to be, have the same text properties as the other ones. When it's here, uh, I want uh, to add just, um, and I'll just click it again, I want to, to add a line length of it, and it could be, be 10 characters for instance, and then wrap text, because otherwise it would uh, the text would be longer than the symbol here. 
And uh, when it's like this, everything is more or less finished. The only thing I need to do is that I want to have the name of the connection point invisible, just as in all other symbols. That means that this here is uh, the basics of my PLC symbol. It's a PLC symbol with one PLC output and two extra connection points that belong to the same address. So this one is OK. I can go in and save Save As and I want it to make called a new output. It's a symbol type called PLC and I want it to be in here and I could call it new uh, uh, new output and um, this is my output. I want to make a symbol uh, that a reference symbol that connects with this one and in order to make it easy for myself I will just copy those three connection points here so um, and then I have them when I start making my reference point so up here f uh, close it and then I will go in and make a new symbol here again I would use this one and uh, this time I want it to be 50 millimeters by um, by 50 because that's the size that will, will fit with, with this one. I don't want to have any connections because I have the ones that I just copied. So zoom in and then I would uh, paste the ones that I had from uh, the other symbol. So they come here and uh, when I go in here I would uh, go in and then I would take all the text and this is a function that's the address so I could uh, place the address here and up here I have the reference I want the reference to be here and then below that I want to have the description for what is going to happen in this address, on this address. What I have here on uh, the address here is that uh, this time I might want to have 25 characters before I want to wrap the text whereas in the, the PLC symbol I want it only to be 10 uh, characters long. So now everything is here. I can go in and simply check uh, just to make sure but here you can see that the address it is dot zero zero this one, the address is dot zero zero, and the last one, the address is dot zero zero. So this is the first address out of four that I want to have here. So I can go in and simply copy and say copy, and then use the uh, arrows to uh, to place them beneath e each other here. And then I will go in and say that this one here is address one instead of. Um, address uh, 0 and this one the first uh, connection point is 4 and then control plus to to count and um, I forgot that I want them to be invisible and then this one the same trick here I want to uh, uh, sorry I want them to go in here and control plus and invisible but this should be address 2 and finally the last one go in and uh, question mark and dot zero three and I want everything here to be invisible so this now is my PLC reference symbol and um, I'll go up here and say save as and I will call it output uh, ref and the symbol type is a PLC reference symbol and then click OK and I can call it um, new output uh, ref because that's what it is and then save it and in this way if I just uh, click here I have um, made those two symbols that fit together just the same way as uh, all other symbols fit together. This is the um, addresses, this was uh, the, the new one here. Go and select the, uh, sorry it's outside here, this one and uh, it's outside here and you can see that everything works exactly the same way as the symbols that we normally have.